Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look at the uh, news that was unveiled over the weekend at the X Flag Park 2017 event and you know, let's just start it off right away. So um, first up, uh, we got some quality of life updates um, for the, uh, I guess the uh, enhancing of your monsters. Uh, they now give you this awesome button there that will help you uh, automatically fill up the amount of uh, Mo the uh, enhanced monsters that you need to uh, get them to max or if that uh, promotion is up where you'll get you know, the die cycle you know the double experience and double plus bonus um, you can actually make it so that it automatically fills only halfway so that if you happen to get it you'll get up to max in that form which is pretty nice uh, you don't have to calculate it one by one it's like oh okay the uh, max bees make it go over so I'm gonna go to that next level down turtle they, they will do that for you now and to help you out with that on top of that uh, they'll increase the amount of monsters you can uh, fuse at the same time from 10 to 15 so really really nice quality of life update here uh, next one I'm sure this is pretty exciting for a bunch of people too uh, you can now trade in luck for dragon gems so now as long as you have a four star or above monster uh, if they you can use at most two and if they combine to be 90 luck or more uh, you can trade them in for one dragon gem of your choice so now now you don't have to deal with that dang dungeon and that's horrible drops uh, this is one more way uh, to get some dragon gems which are really nice um number three speaking of dragon gems and that darn quest uh you can now buy a dragon gem quest for one orb but the important thing here is that when you buy that uh, orb quest or I guess ticket uh, it will be up for 12 hours and to run it it only costs one stamina so you know I'm pretty sure that the drop rates aren't gonna be any better but at least you are only wasting one stamina and it's up for 12 hours so you could spend all night trying to get dragon gems and hopefully you actually get one that you want. Uh, but this is a pretty cool update as well. And I actually might get some uh, legitimate use out of those uh, quest tickets because I know I have not even looked at that menu since the dawn of time. <laughs> Alright, number four. Uh, this is a pretty small one, but uh, if you can fuse uh, luck monsters together then the uh, uh, the reward you get if you finish the sealed jades which comes up after you finish the tower of champions uh, you can transfer over that uh, uh, that extra berry slot so the example here is like you have the Lancelot you gave him that uh, scroll that gave him an extra uh, berry slot and now you you happen to roll the Lancelot X it's like ah, I really want Lancelot X um, well, you can feed them together to increase luck. So, uh, in this uh, uh, in this new feature, you can now transfer it over where it wouldn't have done that before. Uh, probably a very small amount of users that would ever ever have to worry about this. But uh, if you ever run into that situation, hey, there you go. All right, number five. This is pretty big. Uh, Izanami and Kushinara are both coming to the Library of Memories. So now basically five times a day you can run Izanami and or Kushinada. Uh, that's pretty big for those who haven't max lucked her yet. I know I haven't yet but now this really increases the motivation to do that because now basically anytime you want uh, you can run those quests and that is pretty awesome. So that's thank you Mixie for or X Flag for doing that. Alright and now the big stuff we got the uh, transcensions that are going to be available in July. Uh, they unveiled four monsters and it was pretty exciting. The reactions from the crowd was uh, pretty awesome to say the least. Uh, let's start with the first one. So uh, we have Mozart. Mozart is going to get a transcension and uh, let's take a look at his stats that they gave on uh, screen and this is going to be live as of Tuesday this upcoming Tuesday the 11th uh, Japan time of course um, so that's actually pretty pretty quick so 
Uh, we can see his abilities. It's Minesweeper L and Null Wind. And they're both on the base, so that's pretty cool. Um, strike Shot is uh, uh, Unlimited Amadeus Burst. And up from the video that they showed, and I think they uploaded on their official YouTube, uh, it was like about 190 shots. So uh, it basically just fires off and then goes off and hits the monster over and over and over and over again and the cool the crazy thing here is the bump combos uh, we've got uh, the pierce homing 18 and standard homing 28 uh, that is pretty ridiculous they brought a uh, full party of transcended mozarts into i think it was floor 29 of the tower of champions and you could just see uh, everybody melt with the uh with the homings um yeah on the other hand this gives me hope as to what Lorelai's transcension if she ever gets one could look like but it was pretty insane with all those homing uh, attacks all right uh next up is uh beethoven so beethoven will also get a uh transcension and i think his art looks amazing here this is this is really solid art and uh, unfortunately, he uh, loses his null damage wall, so he doesn't have that double ability anymore. He has null gravity barrier and null block. Uh, but his strike shot is uh, something that everybody likes. It's the uh, the grand motivation, the one that Kushinada has, and I think Lucifer, yeah, Lucy, Lucy has too. Where you know you just go, and then everybody starts dancing around. Uh, that's pretty awesome. And his bump combo, they were saying this one's a new one, the Bakuha Kaksandang, which looks like it's a 16 spray uh, bombing attack, exploding attack. I'm not sure. Uh, they said it was new. I think they also said like uh, the enemies have had this uh, ability, but nobody on your side, you know, a monster that you would have would ever have this bump combo. So that's a new one. And energy circle M for the sub bump combo, which is pretty awesome as well. And so you see, okay, Mozart, Beethoven, who's the last one? And uh, the crowd was super excited for this one. And uh, yes, we have Bach. Uh, Bach always ridiculed as being this horrible character that nobody wants. Uh, but wow, look at this art again. This is really amazing art and um yeah the uh, ability is also pretty interesting uh he is basically a quattro killer uh we've got uh the mahuji which is uh demon's bane so that's uh it works against uh demons and demon mancers and he is a uniba killer which would be um nebulin right nebulin nebulin killer I still don't think there's anybody that's uh, uh, had that use for it, but I feel like once he gets released, we might see a few Nebulon bosses that we have to worry about. Uh, on the gauge, he has uh, Null Warp and uh, Light Slayer. So that's four Slayers, three of them on types, one of them is against the uh, Light. Uh, pretty awesome. And uh, his strike shot is kind of like uh, Royce's, where every time you bounce off of an enemy, he fires off uh, pierce waves, not pierce waves, but pierce shots uh, around. And his uh, uh, main strike shot, uh, sorry, bump combo is the shotgun. And so, I mean, the shotgun is going to be pretty interesting to see with the triple ability on his base. So even when somebody else hits him, he's going to get those three slayers on those uh, shotgun bullets. And his uh, sub bump combo is the Chokyo Kantsu Kaksandan. So I guess the pure destruction, uh, the small blips. And it is an XL5, so that is uh, pretty up there in uh, damage, I would imagine. We'll have to see. Um, both, uh, let's see, Bach and Beethoven will be coming later this month. They aren't coming this Tuesday, but. Somebody else who is coming this Tuesday who actually caught me by surprise is this lady right here, Kiss Kill Lyra. Uh, if you don't remember who she is, she is from the anime and she is only found in the Light Hatcher. So uh, 
I feel like a lot more people are gonna pour money into the light hatcher because this one was uh, I mean her skill set is quite amazing uh, the uh, the healing prayer uh, and uh, super null warp on her main super null warp is based on the amount of warps on stage her power will increase and on her gauge she has null damage wall and of course the most awesome ability null magic circle so that is a pretty hefty uh, skill set there and her strike shot is even even more amazing. Uh, she gets the power up, and uh, every time you hit, or I don't know if it's every time, but if you hit your uh, friendly units, uh, you will heal yourself for a significant amount of HP. And the turn count from this was actually uh, kind of ridiculous. It's uh, eight turns for the base and another eight turns for the powered up version. So uh, 16 turns for this pretty powerful bump uh, strike shot uh yeah pretty amazing and her bump combo is a plasma followed up by a uh, all enemy meteor strike so uh she's gonna look uh pretty cool and last but not least they finished off with a new collab announcement um full metal alchemist unfortunately i don't know much about fma so i can't say anything about it but um uh i think everything should be up on the wiki so uh all the details on all of the characters and and what they do uh they should be up for your viewing pleasure so uh thank you for tuning in for the uh monster strike news update and until next time bye bye